Hello and welcome to MBTV's Locality Review. I'm your host Nitya Krishnamurthy Padmanabhan and today I will be reviewing Bengaluru's electronic city as a locality. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to MBTV and hit the bell icon for notifications. Bengaluru, also known as the Silicon Valley of India, is primarily associated with the IT sector. Amongst its significant IT hubs are Electronic City and Whitefield. Over the years, Electronic City has transformed from a purely industrial area to a bustling residential and IT employment hub. If you are looking to buy or rent a property in this neighborhood or simply wish to learn more about it because you work here, then you've come to the right place. Electronic City, part of Southeast Bengaluru, is one of India's largest IT parks. Hundreds of multinational IT and ITES companies operate from here, the prominent ones being Infosys, Wipro, TCS, HCL, Tech Mahindra and the like. Being a tech corridor, the neighborhood is an amalgamation of all sorts of people from various parts of the country and the world. The neighborhood is divided into four phases with the residential development mainly concentrated in Phases 1 and 2, while Phase 1 of Electronic City falls under the Panchayat limits of Konapanna Agrahara, Dodato Guru, Kulimangla and other Panchayat limits. Phase 2 mostly comes under Govinda Shetty Palya, Kuskur, Shantipura and Dodanagar Mangala. Electronic City is diagonally divided by Hosu Road and enjoys connectivity to various parts of the city via the Nice Road. The public transport facilities here, that is the BMTC and KSRTC buses, autos and cabs are easily accessible. Hilalige Railway Station is the nearest and is located at a 9km distance. The RV Road Burmasandra Metro Line that's currently under construction is likely to be ready in a few months and will improve connectivity and give respite to daily commuters who struggle with the neighborhood's traffic congestion. Though the Kempegowda International Airport is far away, this limitation is likely to be compensated once the neighboring town of Kosur gets an airport. The Suburban Railways project is one other such infrastructure venture that's likely to benefit the daily train commuters. As the name suggests, Electronic City is a self-sustaining town be it employment hubs, schools, hospitals, shopping zones, recreation centers, restaurants or eateries, the neighborhood has it all. These include Delhi Public School Electronic City, National Public School, Tremis World School, Vimalalaya Hospital, Sacred Oak Hospital, Narayana Health City and many more. Electronic City also enjoys the presence of several reputed higher educational institutions including Symbiosis Center for Management Studies, St. Francis de Sales College, PES Institute of Technology South Campus, and so on. Electronic City is home to a host of standalone stores of top brands such as Westside, Trends, Max, and more. M5 E City Mall is an upcoming shopping mall in the vicinity. Gopalan Innovation Mall in JP Nagar and Forum Mall in Kormangla are situated within 30 to 35 minutes from the locality. Stores for daily needs such as DMART and Village Hypermarket are easily accessible to residents of Electronic City. For all the foodies in town, the Rasoya Street, Chowman and Pizzology Pizza are the most popular spots. Coming to the residential constructions in Electronic City, over 60% of the properties here consist of apartments, followed by plots and then villas. Two-bedroom properties are the most popular and the price range of one, two and three-bedroom properties in the locality lies anywhere between Rs 50 lakhs to 2 crores. For more information regarding properties in Electronic City, please visit the Magic Bricks website. Since the neighborhood witnesses a steady floating IT population all throughout the year, the demand for rental and paying guest accommodations is also high. Over the years, Electronic City has witnessed tremendous development and the area has almost reached its brim with very little scope for further expansion. As a result of this, growth in terms of residential constructions is now being slowly shifted to many peripheral areas like Hosa Road, 
हरलूर बमसंद्रा हेबागोडी दोदोतोगुरु तिरुपाल्या कामसंद्रा नीलाद्री नगर एंड ग्लास फैक्ट्री ले While some of these areas are of decent size, most of them are micro yet prominent sub-localities that are slowly gaining popularity amongst property seekers. To sum it all up, Electronic City, one of the biggest IT hubs in the country, is not just an employment center but also a preferred residential locality for the people working here. Good connectivity is offered by Hosu Road and Nice Road. Public transport facilities are efficient. and are likely to improve with metro suburban train and air connectivity social infrastructure facilities are decent housing options are varied and cater to both the floating and settling populations security in the neighborhood is fine as there are many it companies not all areas in the locality have parks playgrounds sidewalks roads and garbage disposal facilities while big multi story buildings and gated communities may have them Smaller sub localities are under the authority of the local panchayat. Therefore, these amenities may not be available in all parts of the locality. So this was my review of Electronic City as a locality. If you found it useful, please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to MBTV for more such locality reviews from across the country. Also hit the bell icon so as to not miss any updates. This is Nitya Krishnamurthy Padmanabhan signing off with camera person Nagendran Sukumar.